Hello, how are you today? I hope everybody's doing really well. Um, I have a lot of things I want to talk to you about. It just recently came to my attention that some people are living in more fear than they need to. So I thought we need to address that. Uh, things are going on all around us, I understand, and I know that to be true. But if we look at that, we will be full of fear. My youngest daughter was afraid of Satan. She was afraid of the devil. She was afraid of what he could do to her because he hates her. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy, right? So I explained to her that God is omnipresent. He's everywhere all the time. And Satan is not omnipresent. He's not everywhere all the time. So... I told her, Satan's not necessarily going to come after you because he's going to go after the big preachers that, you know, save 700,000 souls a month <laughs> that lead 700,000 souls to Jesus. So she said it really, really helped her. She was just a young little girl. And uh, you got to remember uh, with uh, fear, if you're afraid of the evil one, um, if, he if he had the power to take you out, he would have already done it. So God's got you. So remember that. God has you. You're here for a purpose. You're here for a reason. And you are going to live out your days. Um, as far as God's concerned, I think they say the, the word fear is mentioned in the Bible. I believe it's 365 times. But you can look that up. You can do a search. But I just want to gently and quickly as possible give you some scriptures if you're battling fear fear in any area of your life um isaiah 35 4 says though say to those with fear, fear <laughs> say to those with fearful hearts this is what you're supposed to say be strong and do not fear your god will come he will come with vengeance with divine retribution he will come to save you John 14, 27, peace I leave with you, my peace I give. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. That was said by Jesus. Old Testament again, Joshua 1, 9. Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Matthew 6, 34, therefore do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So we're going to live in the present, correct? Uh, Psalm 23, 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Psalm 34, 4. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and he delivered me from all my fears. So be seeking the Lord. Psalm 94, 19, when anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Isn't that wonderful? And we're just reading a few of them. This should, uh, I'll put it in the description when I, when I post this so you can see them. Oh, and one of my favorites, Romans 8, 38, 39, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, Neither the present nor the future nor any power, neither any height or depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So relax. Don't be afraid. With spirit, you know, fear is a spirit, the spirit of fear. So we're not going to, we're not going to entertain that. Um. Uh, 1 Peter 5, 6 through 7. Humble yourself, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Uh, 2 Timothy 1, 7. For the Spirit of God does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. That is another, um, that's another version. I uh, love it. Uh, Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of anything. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. 
wonderful. Um, Isaiah 41, 13, for I am the Lord, your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear. I will help you. Isn't it just wonderful to just know that God is there? First uh, Corinthians 16, 13, be on your guard, stand firm in faith, be courageous, be strong. Oh, you got to feel better when you just hear the word of God getting into your spirit. Um, Hebrews 13, 5, 6, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has, sa has said, never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortal, mortal mortals do to me? So I hope that that helps. I hope that that helps. I, I was in church last week and last Sunday, yesterday actually, and uh, we had a baptism. It was wonderful. And one of the uh, guys that were, was baptized said that he was living in fear, constant anxiety. And um, I felt bad, but you know, he gave his life to Jesus and he, and he got baptized and he will have to fight against it. But the deal is this, when God, the creator of the universe is your helper, when he's the one who has you, you really don't have to worry about it. If it was just you by yourself, okay, you know, could be a problem, right? <laughs> so I just wanted to say to all those people out there, open up a Bible, start, look up fear, see how many scriptures you can find, write them down, write them, write them over and over. Sometimes it helps just to get it down. Um, and also I'd like to pray. We have had a lot of YouTube uh, I've done a lot of these and we haven't ever actually prayed. So I want to pray with you wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And I'll just tell you right up front, I don't pray quietly because when we're praying, it, it, it's our best weapon. Okay. So let's pray. Dear Lord, I just thank you for your grace, your mercy. I thank you for your forgiveness, your protection, your provision. I thank you for the health and the healing of your people. I thank you, Father God, that you are a strong tower. The righteous can run into and we're safe. I praise your holy name for that. And Father God, all across America and everyone who's watching, my friends and my families, family members that I love with all my heart, that you love even more, are, some of them seem to be struggling with the spirit of fear, with anxiety, with all the things that's going on in this world. And their eyes are on the world. Father God, give them peace. Gently nudge them and remind them not to put their eyes in the world, but to put their eyes on you. You're, you're our refuge. You're, you're our strong tower. You're our source. You're our strength. You're our everything. And the spirit of fear and the spirit of anxiety and all these evil demonic things attacking my friends and family watching this show by the power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in, in, and in his authority, I bind you up in the name of Jesus Christ and I command you to leave. Just lift your hands up now and say, Lord, thank you for setting me free from this spirit of anxiety and spirit of fear. And then just start dancing around. Lord, we praise your holy name and we thank you that it's done now. Amen. Just start dancing around and praise the Lord. And when the spirit of fear comes knocking, you just don't let him in. You fill your house up with faith uh, because when your house, your body, your soul is full of faith, there's no room for fear. So you fill it up and if it comes knocking, you don't answer the door. Let Jesus answer the door for you. I love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful, marvelous, glorious, splendid day. <laughs> I'll see you next time.